let's see the necessary components inside the package. FCC 3D software debugging instruction book, the clockwise or CW propeller, and counterclockwise the CCW propeller, a radio transmitter control, the battery for the radio transmitter control, a velcro tape, some nylon cable ties. A battery strap, a USB cable, a power adapter, a battery for the port quarter, a balance charger. The cord quarter frame, a free end tape, an Anna wrench, a buzzer alarm. An open end wrench and four motor cap nuts. Before installing the propellers, we need to make sure the direction of the aircraft head. The arrow in the figure indicates the aircraft head. As you can see, the red CW propeller rotates clockwise. The red CCW propeller rotates counterclockwise. Similarly, this is the green CW propeller. This is the green CCW propeller. Here we define the torque left motor from the head orientation as number one motor. In the clockwise sequence, the number two, number three, and number four in tow. Install the red CW propeller onto the number two motor. The red CCW propeller onto the number one. Likewise, install the green CCW propeller onto number three and the green CW propeller onto number four. Reinstall the cap nuts to the original motor. Fasten them with the open end wrench. Measure the length of the battery with the velcro tape. Cut the tape accordingly. Cut the tape into two halves. Remove the sticker on the back. Paste one tape on the frame center and the other on the battery in the same way. Put the battery onto the frame top and bind the battery to the upper board with the battery strap. There are marks of pins on the back of the body alarm. Align the first black wire of the battery charging cable with the cathode pin of the alarm. The other pins are also mapped with the headers of the cable. And then insert. You will hear the voice and see the remaining battery capacity.
find the buzzer alarm to the back of the frame with a nylon cable tie. Cut the tie accordingly. Open the rear cover of the radio transmitter control and there is the power supply port with positive 4 and negative 4 sides inside it. Insert the 2 pin plug of the radio transmitter control battery cable into the port above. Pay attention to the port. Red line into the positive pole and black line into the negative one. Install the rear cover again. Push the switch upwards to switch on the radio transmitter control. You will hear two beeps and see the indicator lights for remanding. Connect the QAV250 to the power source. Connect the bucket alarm. Turn down the thought broker to the bottom and then to the right. You will see that the LED in the flight controller is blinking fast, which indicates a successful unlocking. At this time, slightly push the thought broker upwards and the motor will start to rotate. Next, we will try flying in four. If you are beginners, do not Fly the aircraft in the room. Pull down the throat rocket to the bottom and then to the leftmost position. You will see that the LED indicator mentioned above lights on constantly, which means the control is locked successfully. 